Wayne. Back at NXT, Charlotte was part of a group called the Four Horsewomen with Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Becky Lynch. Wow, has Charlotte evolved from those times? Many believe Corey Charlotte is the greatest of all time. When it comes to history, making moments, capturing championships, and excelling inside the squared circle, nobody does it quite like Charlotte Flair. Multi-time champion, history maker, record setter, legend in the making. Women's division, I hope you're ready for a fight. Uh, Tamina is a scary woman. That is a scary human being. Product of the Hart Family Dungeon carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart Family in sports entertainment. Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. Now the daughter of Jim the Animal Nightheart, the niece of WWE Hall of Famer Brett the Hitman Hart. Got the power of her father and the finesse of her uncle. Maybe the most respected superstar in the entire women's division. It's now time for the six-man tag team match that I think we've all been waiting for. Well, I can't speak for everybody, Michael, but I can tell you that I've looked forward to this one ever since it was announced. We're just moments away from what will likely be one of the most exciting six-man tag team matches we've seen in a very long time. Well, given the two teams we have assembled here tonight, I would say I have no choice but to agree with you, Cole. This should be great, guys, as we kick off this huge 
three on three contest. Looking at the six competitors we have in the ring tonight, I think it's safe to say that we're entering dream match territory right now. The constant reinvention of Chris Jericho has been what's kept him one of WWE's most enduring superstars. Look, I get it. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to kiss up to Y2J, Saxton. But the fact is, your name's on the list of Jericho in permanent ink. I thought it was just a rumor. Got uh -oh. the up. Oh, my goodness. Crushing it. What are we going to see here? Oh, going right after the neck. Look at this, Byron. She better do something fast. And she breaks free. I don't know how she did it, but that was impressive. You got to believe this one's over. Beautiful technique. This is when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. Doesn't tear the features clean off your face. Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. That's easier said than done. Just because superstars might be favorites of the WWE Universe or have a common enemy, that doesn't mean they'll get along. It also doesn't mean that any past issues will magically go away. In this business, people have long memories, so if someone sees an issue on their team, they need to resolve it right away. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. Nailed it. Ooh, what impact. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the Daredevil Hardy Boys. I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE at 2017's WrestleMania. During that six-man on Raw, Team Extreme formed an effective trio with that lunatic Dean Ambrose. After a twist of fate from Matt Hardy, Jeff crushed The Miz with a swanton bomb, and that was all she wrote. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double team move, and the third member follows that up with a move so their opponent is really down for the count. The key is to deliver the maximum amount of punishment to your opponent in the least amount of time. You have until the referee's count of five. It's not like you have all day in the ring. But if your team of three can deliver that type of offense, your trio will be in good shape. What a stop! Good grief! In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. Corey, 
we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match. But it showed what can happen when issues between factions can't be resolved through a sanctioned WWE match. I'll tell you what, none of the men who fought in that conflict will ever be the same. Dana Brooke is a superstar who has it all. She's intelligent, beautiful, powerful, and she possesses an incredible finisher. The sit-out Samoan driver will put an opponent down for a lot longer than the referee's three count. She's got the skill and the stamina to really do some damage here. Natalia says, not this time. Natalia strikes with Natty by nature. If there's one maneuver that exhibits all of Dana Brooks' immense powers, it's the sit-out Samoan driver. You're not going to get her that easy. That would have been a shocker. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Chris Jericho doing a great job of turning that around. What a clothesline. Ouch. Natalia beginning to stumble a bit. There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. Suplex. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Pump handle applied. What's coming next? Oh, impactful slam! And she kicks out of two. She's still in this one. In off the tag. She comes up big with the reversal. Beautiful technique. Dana Brooke is tagged in. Oh, that's one way to bring it to her opponent. Big time. Ooh, nasty impact. She's trying to prove a point here. Tamina now in defensive mode. She's got two very capable partners in her corner. Now might be a good time to bring one of them in. Well, it would be crazy to expect her to go through this entire match without taking on some punishment. I don't even think Saxton thought that would happen. Harsh impact. Can she keep her down? She kicks out of that one. She's still in this one. Across the shoulders. Up the driver. Cover, cover. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Oh, guys, there's the... Before joining the sports entertainment ranks, Dana Brooke was a world-class gymnast, fitness competitor, and professional bodybuilder. But when Dana Brooke came to NXT, she came for one reason and one reason only, to die. Oh, man, what a boot. This might be it. Oh, my. Got the reversal. Oh, and it's trapped now and just a bang. In off the tag. Grief. 
Tamina Snuka just barely got out of the way. And she drops her. That was about as in your face as it gets. sweat a bit. This one appears far from over, and she knows that. Yeah, but we all know that she can dish it out just as well as she can take it. And with that in mind, I wouldn't be surprised to see her turn the tides here shortly. She has to be careful not to let this get out of hand here, guys. Yes. Dominating cross body. Shoulders down. This could be it. And the shoulders up. Going to take more than that. The switch here to Charlotte. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Mandy Rose is gone. <laughs> there are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside, and many times outside the ring. It's complete and total chaos. But if you're one of the legal competitors in the ring during that time, you must return to the ring before the referee's 10 count or risk being counted out and lose the match for your team. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their 10 count. That's a huge mistake. In the throes of battle, superstars lose their composure in what was a six-man tag match, breaks down into a pier six brawl. And if you don't keep an eye on the referee's count, you could get counted out and be the reason your team loses the match. I can see Byron making that mistake and ruining it for everybody. Dana Brooke is a woman you do not want to mess with. Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations could be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, falls count anywhere, or whatever else someone could think of. Matches can also be held in a caged environment. Natalia comes in off the tag. She might have it. I don't think this is going to do it. And this is all part of Charlotte's strategy. Look at this. She releases the hold. That's a little surprising. No? We're looking at complete domination here. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat their way into the action. You gotta believe this one's over. Hard landing there. Nothing to worry about, just a little misstep on her part. Mandy Rose's toughness getting tested here. This could spell the beginning to the end for her here in this six-man tag team match. Being outside the ring is great if you know what you're doing out there. And given how she looks right now, she might want to think about keeping the action within the ropes. Given what they've shown us here tonight, it's a shame that one of these women will have to walk away on the losing end of this one. I'm not so sure Natalia should be strutting around like this. At least not yet. This might be it! Oh, my! Oh, what impact! And that's the tag to Chris Jericho. Double axe handle smash! Tilt the world sidewalk slam. Uh, with all due respect.
respect, I think, we're seeing the end for Natalya. Her opponent is clearly getting the best of her here. I think this one's over. Man, at this point, even the slightest mistake could cost one of these women the match. Look at her go. Tamina Snuka giving a little South Pacific flavor right there. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, this is, what's this going to be? Wheelbarrow. Oh, what impact. Really seems like Chris Jericho is in a world of hurt. This could spell the beginning to the end for her here in this six-man tag team match. These women have gone through so much in this match. It's amazing that they're still able to stand. Whoa, Jericho able to avoid damage. What a cagey maneuver. Here comes Chris Jericho. Oh, and she gets out of the way. I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat their way into the action. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat their way into the action. Natalia says, not this time. Bam, what a slam. the tag and not a moment look out there's the tag and that changes the entire outlook for these women michael so agile takes her down wow nice move right there she is on fire she's looking oh, nasty impact beautiful technique Oh, perfect kick. Charlotte turns it around. Nice move. And there's the reversal from Dana Brooke. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat their way into the action. Dana Brooks setting up. Impact. This could be it. Cover. And how they survived that is anyone's guess. Wow. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Natalia in off the tag. Is showing signs that it could be ending soon. The six man match may have taken it all out of her. Oh man, I don't know about you guys, but it doesn't seem to me like she has any clue where she is right now. You've got to give these women so much credit. They've really been put through the ringer here tonight.
This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. And Charlotte does what she does best. And she's back in the ring now. Oh, man, by the hair. Avoids trouble there. Jericho is tagged in. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Oh my. Ooh. Oof. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Jericho able to avoid damage. What a cagey maneuver. Comes in off the tag. Mandy Rose is nailed it. There's no denying that all six of these superstars brought it here tonight. Double underhook applied. Up and harsh impact. Here's a cover. One. Two. Oh, no. You've got to believe. This one's over. Charlotte with a nice reversal. No reverses it. Boom, what impact. And here comes Charlotte. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. Extend your elbow. Mandy Rose just too quick. Charlotte sure dodged that one. She did indeed. Looks like her partner wants back in this thing. Yeah, she's sick of watching. She wants to fight. Ooh, what impact. Nailed it. There goes Dana Brooke getting in her opponent's head. Oof. She's getting closer, Court. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Oh, what a shot. Yeah, she doesn't want to take too many more of those. Oh, and she drops hard. Things are looking pretty good for her now. Sit out, power bomb. Mandy Rose just too quick. inside the ring now. Natalia says, not this time. In comes Tamina. There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. Look at her go. Irish whip. Dana Brooke is a woman you do not want to mess with. Boom! <laughs> She's able to get out of the way there. She's not looking good here, guys. Man, she's got to get herself together here. She's a live wire right now. Get out of her way. 
Oh no. The super kick! And that one does the job. It definitely dropped her, but I'm not so sure it's over yet. Applied. What's coming next? This might be it! Oh my! One! Two! Oh, and the ref gets absolutely floored! Yeah, but let's be honest, the light breeze would knock him over. And Charlotte was able to get out of danger there. Lucky for her. Harsh impact! She got her with a reversal. by Tamina. Nope, she releases it. Well, that decision may very well come back to haunt her, Cole. Guys, it's got to be instinct that keeping these six competitors going at this point. There's just no other explanation. Oh, nasty impact. She's not careful. Things can get out of control in a hurry. Uh, I think they're about to. Oh, high impact. Takes her off her feet. That's how you eliminate somebody's vertical game. Up the turnbuckle goes Tamina. She is on fire. Looking at it a second time. Oh, what a splash. She goes for the cover. One. And there's the breakup. Just in the nick of time. Charlotte sure dogs that one. She did indeed. Tamina's feeling good about herself. We'll see if it lasts. Leg drop. It's effective. Oh, man, she's rolling now. She might have it. The super kick! And she goes down hard. That'll leave a mark. And a pin attempt. One, two, three! What a six-man tag match. Here's a few clips from the last match for us. She's taking care of business. That's a woman on a mission. Man, this was great. Ain't nothing better than action like this. The referee's three count ends this one. And there's your winner, folks. Talk about making your presence felt in the match. Wow, what a win. And folks, as a reminder, the action tonight is coming to you from one of the greatest wrestling hotbeds of all time, Minneapolis, Minnesota.